Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, it was really cool. You just, there's this moment and you look up and just everything around you is sparkling from the water to the stars. So this is what they look like up close. This is just Google images. They look a lot smaller than this, but they do glow. And it's harder to see though, when you just take your camera out on the water as you're about to see, but it still is really special. As the sun set over Guana Lake, we set off to see the oldest known animal on the planet. It happens to glow. It is a hermaphrodite and a cannibal. Bioluminescent comb jellies. Yup, researchers say comb jellies evolved more than 500 million years ago. It's the oh wows, the oohs and the ahs and the oh my god. Let's see if we can go find them. And as the light disappeared. A little bit like lightning bugs in the water. It was just everything was um, fairyland. The catch for this story, good luck getting them on camera. But check this out, here they are. Oh, look, that oh, one's trying that. to eat that one. <laughs> I swept my hand through the water and looked up and then just saw the, the forest full of fireflies mm -hmm. and then I was like, that's that's a Disney moment. Look at that light. You look up a little further and you see the stars. Yeah. You put your paddle or your hands in the water and it looks like electricity is coming off of them. Wow, this is cool. Bioluminescence, it's a chemical reaction. Um, it's a pretty common chemical reaction in the world. It's two enzymes that mix together a lot like uh, glow stick. Glow sticks in Florida's waters that have been around millions of years before dinosaurs. So you have to have a special permit to go on Guana Lake after dark. So kayaking tours may really be the way to go. It is Earth Day, so if you want to check out this and learn a little bit more, it will be up on firstcoastnews.com. Renata DiGregorio, live in Jacksonville. First Coast News on your side. Thanks for that, Renato. Well, we